Hi, thank you for joining me, Spiritual Seeker. You are greatly appreciated. Today's video is going to be about please repent. Please repent. Please repent for the sins that you know of and please repent for the sins that you do not know of. Something that I say when I repent is, for Lord, I am a sinner. I repent. I repent of the sins that I know of. I repent of the sins that I do not know of. For Lord, I am a sinner. I repent and please forgive me. I am sorry. So there's, this is just to help encourage you guys to repent of the sins that you know of. Repent of the sins that you do not know of. Please check the errors in your ways. Please change the errors of your ways. And start to learn obedience and start to be obedient. I have a verse for you guys. This verse is from the King James Version. And it's Palms 9 verse 8. And it says, And he shall judge the world in righteousness. And he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. So he's going to judge us based on us being obedient and not being obedient. So please, you guys, repent and try to change and check the errors of your ways, please. And then I have another one. This is also from the King James Version. And it's Palms 19, verse 13. And it says, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. So I really just wanted to come on here and just ask you guys, please, to repent. None of us are perfect. We're all working to change and do better. Um... I'm not great at these videos. This is something that I'm trying to be comfortable in in my uncomfortable um, zone or situation. I am definitely not one to be on camera. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched any of my other videos. I don't even have like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, nothing. Um, I barely came to YouTube and like watched, started watching videos and they weren't the right ones at the first time, but started being on YouTube, like in the summer of 2020 and, um, all of this technology stuff is something that I tried to stray far away from, very far away from. So I'm doing my best. So I'm sorry if I'm not like, um the greatest at these things. I'm working on it. I'm trying to do better. It's just not something that I ever saw myself doing. Um, I'm a very private person and I'm very to myself. I'm kind of like an introvert. I mean, when I get out amongst people, I'm very lively and stuff, but I just am really not into all this technology stuff. And so I'm adjusting and I'm trying to get better at it as well. But I really do try to come on here and give you guys messages that I feel will help help you guys, encourage you guys, and things that I've learned along the way on my walk and learning to be obedient and trying to <laughs> start and learning knowledge from God. And I really just ask for you guys to please, please repent. Please repent of the sins that you know. Please repent of the sins that you do not know of. I don't want anyone left behind. As many people as can be saved, let's try to do our best to help others and encourage them to build a relationship with God and Jesus Christ. God wants to know you. He wants to be, well, he knows you already, sorry. God wants to be close to you. He already knows you. He wants to be close to you. He wants to be involved in the aspects of like your everyday life. He wants you to come to him in good times and in bad. He wants to guide you in the way that's best for your life. You know, a lot of times when we're going through this walk 
and he starts to isolate you and stuff and things start happening in your life and it's hard. You don't understand like what's going on, you know, before your blessings and breakthroughs or whatever it is that he wants you to do. And it's not easy. You know, it's not an easy walk with God at all. This is definitely not for the weak or the faint, for sure. Um, you may lose a lot of things, loved ones, family members, things that you've worked so hard for, so hard for. Personal things, um, jobs, material things, friends. It's not easy, you know. But with him, you gain the best thing, eternal life eternal life, you guys. And so please just put your life in God's hands. Put your life in Jesus Christ's hands. Start to focus on changing the errors in your ways. Start to focus on learning obedience, learning knowledge by reading the Bible, praying to him and asking him for guidance and what it is that he seeks for you to do. And again, in the end, the gain is above all because all of this perishes in the end. This all perishes. This body perishes. Everything you have does not matter on judgment day. Nothing matters then. And I'd like for you all, for all of us to seek and gain eternal life with God and Jesus Christ. So I really just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys to please repent. And please start to change the errors, errors in your ways. Start to learn obedience. Read that Bible. Pray. Seek God. Seek his face. And I want to thank all my new subscribers for coming on here. Welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. It is so greatly appreciated. It's all glories to God. Um, and I just really want to thank you all for your kind comments and experience this experiencing this journey together um it's not easy but you can do it because you have jesus christ with you god is walking with you the whole way and you can do it if i can do this anybody can do this okay if i can do it you can do it too so again i just want to thank you all and just ask you to please repent prayers and blessings to all bye